All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, day two. I hope you're feeling awesome after Barbara. Um, that's a lot of volume, and it's a and it's a push, and it's a long one. But we're gonna um, speed things up a little bit today. Things are a little bit more straightforward with today's workout. Not as much having to trying to like guess and test and figure stuff out. This one's pretty straightforward. So we're doing five rounds for time, and you see that a less than one fifteen run and six clean and jerks. Total time, seven minutes to 12 minutes, somewhere in there. So the intended stimulus is fall within that seven to 12 minutes, and we're going to call it a good day. If you do it faster, you probably overscaled. You missed the intended stimulus. We're going to say that you scaled. If you took longer than 12 minutes, you probably didn't scale enough. You missed the intended stimulus. So the goal today, fall within that seven to 12 minutes. Let's look at that run first. So less than a minute 15. So we're going to kind of program this into our lesson plans for the day. We'll do a little testing. But what we want to see is something that maybe even when you're kind of pushing it, something, a, a distance that you could cover really kind of pushing it in about really about a minute. So we may even say, like, we're going to have you run 30 seconds, run out for 30 seconds. And you'll hear us say, turn around, turn around and run back. That might be 100 meters. That might be 200 meters. That might be 300 meters. I will tell you, this is roughly somewhere, give or take, in the 200 to 300 range. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find whatever that distance is for you. We're going to test that out a couple times, and then that will be your distance for the day. So if you're a speed demon, you might be doing a 300 meter run. If you're more like me, you're a Cadillac, not a Ferrari built for comfort, not for speed. That might be closer to a hundred meter run. Okay. Something that you can finish, something that you can push without selling your soul so that you can get back and get to these clean and jerks. Now, again, you see seven to 12 minutes in that total time a run that's close to a minute. Let's say let's say the run takes you a minute. We're looking at five minutes. Well, if this workout's seven to 12 minutes, these clean and jerks, they're not, they're not, we're not, they're not light. This is more of a medium-ish weight that's going to start feeling a little bit, a little bit heavier as you go. You're going to end up completing 30 clean and jerks at the end of this. So what we're looking for is a weight that you're not necessarily going to be going to be able to go touch and go. It means you're probably going to have to clean it up, hit your clean and jerk, drop it, and you're taking a quick breath back on the bar in about 10 seconds or so to clean it and jerk it again. So something that you can hit, you can hit smoothly, you can hit cleanly, you can hit beautifully, but you need to take about 10 seconds and take a breath and get back on it. So we want to make sure that that weight is something that looks good, but still challenges us. And we're not able to end up going, getting done too fast. Cause again, if you finish this workout in six minutes and 59 seconds, we missed the mark. We probably could have gone a little bit heavier on that clean and jerk. Prior to this workout, you are going to have a chance to build to a heavy clean and jerk, kind of give you an idea about where you might want to hang out today. Um, but this one's, yeah, again, I, I like the the idea of a little bit of freedom here to we're going to find the sweet spot for your run today, and we're going to find what's the right weight for you today, and we're going to test it out and see how it goes and um, learn a little bit more about our fitness. So have a fun one. I'm looking forward to this one, and uh, I'll see you guys on the creek.